Nainer, Nainer. It's still glass and I can still see the sky. We cool, we cool, right? And if it gets hot, we can always turn on the AC, so... Yeah. Hello, journeymen and journeywomen. It's Kathy here, and you're watching Tesla Journey. For today's video, I'm going to be talking about five things I love about my Tesla and five things that I don't like about my Tesla, as it was requested a couple of videos back. So the first thing I love about this car is the fact that it's environmentally friendly, you know, no more gas, just charge and go. Like ever since I discovered Tesla, like I've been like really like environmentally conscious of myself. I just love that, you know. So basically every mile I drive, I'm basically helping the earth in a way, so. It's kind of a cool way to look at it. The next thing I love about this car, it kind of goes along with the first reason why I love this car, it would be that it's a unique experience, you know, it's something new and it's not the same old, same old. Um, and the fact that you get to meet new owners, you know, like when you go supercharge or when you go to weekend socials, you get to meet fellow owners and enthusiasts and you get to talk about stories and it's just... It's always something different, always something new, which is something that I really do like, but it's really nice. And another thing I like is the all glass roof, which we decided to get. Yeah, so we decided to get the glass roof and you know, I've gotten kind of used to it now and um, you know, I wouldn't complain. Um, if I had to choose between the sunroof and the all glass roof, I mean, there's definitely benefits to both. I kind of like how like for the sunroof, um, you have to like open it from the touchscreen, which is really cool. Um, obviously, I can't do anything to the all glass roof, but it's um, yeah, it's still really nice. Um, it, you can see a lot more of the sky above with the all glass roof because you know it doesn't have that big bar um, pillar. I don't know exactly what it's called. It doesn't have that thing in the middle because the sunroof has it because that's where like can open only the first half. So the frontal half I guess um, so basically that's where it stops and like for the rear passengers I don't know I, I feel like it's not the best view of the sky with the all glass roof you can see everything above and it's definitely better in daylight at night it's really hard to see anything um, unless there's like a big contrast um, but especially during the day like yeah like you could like autopilot down the freeway just look up at the sky you can see all the airplanes and um, birds and everything honestly so it's really cool um, I like I like that so yeah um, another thing I like about the car is of course autopilot and auto park and everything that goes along with autopilot because um, you know it, it just makes driving so much more pleasant especially on long road trips like say you're heading down to LA autopilot is beautiful you guys have probably seen my road trip down to SoCal video if you haven't yet go check it out um, but dur during that time, since I got an Autopilot 2.0 car, I didn't have Autopilot at that time, so I only had cruise control. So basically, I've never even driven down all the way to LA, but I could only imagine, now that I've had so much experience with Autopilot, I could only imagine how smooth and how amazing it would be, because, you know, we're always getting updates on the car, um, software updates, and it's always constantly improving Autopilot, making it smoother, um... So yeah, we just recently actually got an update. Um, we got an update for 17.26.92. And in that update, we just, we got auto park for perpendicular park. Yeah, okay, this is the ones in like shopping malls where you like go around parking. Yeah, so we got that update. I haven't tried that one out yet. I've tried the parallel park and it works amazing. Um, but yeah, so it's constantly getting better, and since we got this update, I've noticed that when you tell the car to change lanes while autopilot is engaged, it will change lanes a lot faster than it did before. I think I had 17.17.4 before this update, so in that update, it'll take like, I don't know, probably like 5 seconds, and then it'll change lanes slowly, but right now it's just like zip right into the next lane, so it's... It's definitely a lot more responsive. It's kind of jerkier in a way because it's not as smooth as the slower lane change. So it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of hard to choose which, choose the favorite one because 
With the slow one, it was smooth, but with the fast one, it's jerky, so... Yeah, I guess, you know, there's benefits and downsides to everything, so... That's that, but, you know, I know they're gonna make it better in the future anyway, so... I mean, yeah, they're just starting to make the software for Autopilot too, so it's gonna get better. Um, and lastly, the fifth thing that I like about this car would be the instant torque. Um, I mean, the instant torque in this car is unparalleled. Honestly, they're not joking when they say that. I mean, I have a 90D, I think you guys know that. Um, but even with the 90D, the torque is amazing. Um, but I've definitely gotten used to the speed, so it's not as like, oh my god, anymore. Like, I mean, I've never ridden like a P100D yet, so I mean, yeah, that was gonna be crazy fast. I like to try it out, but if I do, I'll let you guys know on the experience. But um, yeah, like, you know, taking relatives on rides and some friends, I mean, they're just like, oh my god, like once actually, I was taking um, my uncle for a ride and he's just like he didn't know much about the car he's just and I'm just and he's just like oh so there's an engine or blah blah and that I was just like nope 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 just two motors and he's just like oh so then that's low right <laughs> so yeah we took him for a test drive and he's yeah so that's what I love about this car people always underestimate this car and then when we take them for a ride it's like you get the best reactions because it is so underestimated and that's what I love about it because it's kind of like my thing to like prove people wrong about stuff and so with this car I prove a lot of people wrong and it makes me feel good um, but yeah and um, once we were going somewhere we were going out we had our car parked and we were about to head home um, so we were walking towards our car and this guy comes up he's just like oh yeah I've seen these cars around they're like really awesome really fast I'm like yeah yeah that's true totally and I'm just like he's like w what type of car is it and I'm like it's a Tesla and he's like oh, what what Te Tesla right right they're like Italian right and I'm just like mm, I don't know nope, nope you were kind of on the right track and then you just I don't know you just veered off into another direction <laughs> definitely not Italian just like yeah this car was made in the USA right here in Fremont California so yeah and just, I don't know why I'm doing the weird accent excuse my accents it, they just they just come and go as they please um but yeah so you know still to this day I'm there's a lot of people that don't know about Tesla's and it just feels great to educate people and let them know about how amazing this car is cuz you know yeah I mean why not spread the word about this car cuz you know it's the future um, but yeah so yeah I know I'm kinda like talking here and there and everywhere in general but yeah so those are the five things that I like about this car now for the five things that I'm not too fond about so the first thing would be my hair gets stuck in like the side bolsters of the seats I mean these are honestly the most comfortable side bolsters but like the only thing is that my hair gets stuck in them like so I mean not always but especially like before I cut my hair like it was a lot longer so it would always get stuck in between the side bolsters and it got really annoying it's kind of like those girls with long hair can relate to this at school but you know those chairs those chairs that they have those little bolts that they have on the back of the chair we all know the struggle of getting our hair stuck in those things and then it pulls out like three <laughs> three strands of hair and it's just like my god sometimes a lot it's so annoying but this is not as bad as the school seat so I'm still not complaining too much but that's still like an annoying thing how it keeps on like yanking at my hair every time I want to get out of the car so yeah that's one thing I don't like um another thing I don't like is that it is a bug and fingerprint attractor so I mean since my car is white it's not too noticeable and this is like directly in the light but I mean bugs are definitely noticeable bugs like y you saw our road trip yeah I'm gonna do a lot of reference to the road trip to SoCal video but yeah like bugs I mean I have my car protected with Expel and um, Sequence Finest but you know it <laughs> it still doesn't prevent bugs from getting stuck in the front of the um, bumper so I mean it's not a pain to wash off but you know if it were never there you know yeah 
Um, but I guess every car is a bug attractor, so it doesn't really count, but still, I feel like that's a, that's one thing that I don't like. Um, and also, yeah, so fingerprints. Yeah, I mean, unless it was directly in the light, you can't really see them. But still, like, if it was in the light, you can see fingerprints everywhere, especially on the chrome. Because you know how, like, the door handles are chrome, so if you press on them, yeah, fingerprints galore. Um, yeah. Even on the paint, if you look closely enough, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I don't like is the rear dome lights. So, the, with the rear dome lights, like, so we have a dome light on the left side of the car and also the right side of the car for the rear passengers. But the thing I don't like is that, like, the other side lights up the other side. So, basically, if you turn on the left side light, it'll light the right side. And if you turn on the right side's light, it'll turn on the left side. I mean, it'll light up the... <laughs> so if you turn on the light from the left side, it'll light up the right side of the car. And if you turn on the right side's light, then it'll light up the left side of the car. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Um, try saying that ten times really quickly. Um, but yeah, so that's one thing that's annoying because, you know, you would expect, like, if it's on your own side, it would light your side up, but not the other side. So it's like... If you were trying to look at something while it's really dark in the car, you have to ask the person on the other side to be like, Hey, can you turn on your light so I can see on my side? So, I don't know. That's kind of weird, I think, in a way. But, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. That's just, I wish that was different so that you could turn on your own side's light and light up your own side. Apparently that's not the case, but, yeah. Um, another thing I don't like is the elbow rest, so... It's also a cup holder, so if you have a cup there, basically you can't put your arm there, otherwise, you know, you'll just, yeah, you'll just knock it over, it's just not fun to clean up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the elbow rest, it's firm, it's really nice, but if you want to use it as a cup holder also, it's just not going to work out for you. So, I mean, we got space in the center console down here below to use it and put our cups in, but, you know, I wish there was something... They could have done with the cup holder elbow rest issue here um, and the last thing I don't like would be the internet browser so I mean yes I'm seriously thankful that they have a browser in here so I shouldn't be complaining too much because you know I don't think any other car does have an internet browser but and I might change my opinion on this if they decide to like improve it or something but right now I mean it is laggy honestly like yeah it's just really laggy like you could so you could like load up a website really easily and then when you try to click on something on the website to load the next page then it'll take forever and especially if you had, if you don't have a good LTE connection which I usually don't have like I'll literally have like one to three bars like I never have full bars for it so yeah and that adds to the whole problem and sometimes I get only 3G and it's just like, oh my god, this thing never loads in. Sometimes, you know, you want to show people about, like, the whole internet browser thing. And then it just doesn't, and it's, yeah. So, yeah, those are the five things I like and don't like about the car. I hope these kind of gave you an insight into the car and things that you may or may not like yourself. So, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of other things that I like and don't like about the car. And... The ones that I just listed in this video aren't like the top ones of each list. It's just, I just came up with the list. So there's plenty of other things I like too, but for the purpose of this video, I just need to make it short because, <laughs> you know, you guys know I tend to rant a lot. So, um, but yeah, those are just simple five things, five things per list. Um, but if you guys want a part two, make sure you give this video a like and comment down below letting me know so and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because more Tesla Journey videos will be coming soon thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye